as I awkwardly stare at myself. The lighting looks weird right around here. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com slash ask. Boom, there it is. That is your open forum where you guys can submit questions that you feel could make interesting video topics. Now, I'm not looking for questions like, how the heck is your cat? Because yes, that's happened. No, 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 no. While I appreciate your interest in Maui, I am simply looking for questions that can provide answers in return um, to help you guys with valuable information, tips, advice, and all that good stuff. So, today's question is a great one, and this is actually pretty exciting. It comes from Mary Lou Vasquez. Mary Lou Vasquez. Did I say that right, Mary? I hope so, and if I did not, I apologize. Anyway, Mary or Mary Lou, I'm not sure, says, what do you think about VR and the future of gaming? Would VR last? Now that's the better part of the question, would VR last? But first of all, let's start with the beginning. What do I think about VR and the future of gaming? First of all, I'll say this. For the longest time now, virtual reality, it just didn't interest me. Kind of like 3D movies, to me it felt like a gimmick, something we'll get over. But then something happened. Virtual reality technology kept getting better and better and better. Meaning that we consumers should in theory be getting our hands on or our heads on virtual reality technology sooner rather than later and at affordable prices. Because well, let's face it, that's probably the primary uh, problem right now with VR. It's just too damn expensive. The average person's not gonna go out there and spend over 400 $500 on a decent VR headset. It's just not realistic. But then along came the PlayStation VR. Now I think, in my opinion, Sony is doing this right. Now granted, you need a lot of accessories to make it work, but with PlayStation VR, it's going to work seamlessly with the PlayStation 4. And the average gamer already has a PlayStation 4. I know I do. So that's exactly why I will be getting the PlayStation VR on launch day. I don't care if it's $400. That's the price, right? I'm not totally sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, I will be buying PlayStation VR because I'm quite excited about it because of games like Resident Evil 7. If I can immerse myself in a game like that, which by the way, looks kind of like PT, which definitely excites me quite a bit because I loved PT so much and Konami, shame on you on, on for killing what I believe to be one of the greatest gaming experiences of my life. PT was just downright terrifying. And the fact that you canceled it over that stupid drama BS, shame on you. Anyway, getting back on topic. Uh, yeah, the PlayStation VR looks nice and it's gonna come alongside a lot of games at launch. And honestly, I think that plays a large factor. Because come on, if VR wants to succeed, it needs to have plenty of support. But the more important question, Mary Lou, would VR last? In my opinion, no, to be honest, and I'm not against VR, I'm just being kind of realistic. VR to me is kind of like Nintendo Wii and Xbox Connect all over again. The technology is incredible, it's new, it's gonna be the latest fad for at least two to three years, but then eventually gamers like myself and you who just enjoy gaming on our couches are going to want that, a nice, simple gaming experience. You sit on your couch, you sit in your computer chair, whatever, whether you're a PC gamer or a console gamer. That's what we gamers want, a simple, immersive gaming experience. And while honestly, we don't need VR to have an immersive experience. Look at Uncharted 4, for example. Uncharted 4 is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. It's just downright incredible. In my opinion, it's a work of art. And it sets the bar for what every game should represent, a good story, likable characters, amazing music, excellent level design, very tight gameplay mechanics, Fallout 4, The Witcher 3, I'm looking at you. That's what makes a great gaming experience. Not because it's VR, just because it's awesome. Naughty Dog knows what they're doing. Now that's not to say I'm against VR because obviously I'm not, I've made that very clear. I mean, I think VR definitely has some benefits, especially in the medical field. Um, we can't always look at VR as a gaming benefit. I mean, VR has some actual life-changing benefits that we're not even aware of yet. So yeah, I mean, in terms of gaming, VR is very exciting. I just don't see it being that huge, about 
four or five years from now. Sure, it's going to be around, you know, like the Wii U is still around. That technology is pretty cool, but it didn't exactly take off because in my opinion, Nintendo just needs to keep it simple. Stop trying to innovate so much. And I know that's horrible to say, but you don't need to innovate in your hardware. You need to innovate in the software because after all, hardware, it doesn't really matter all that much because without good software, your hardware could just be shit. Hey, that's the way I look at it. And well, that's the truth. So there are my thoughts on VR. I'm excited about it, but I'm not going to bet my life on it. Let's just say that. Not that I would ever do that, but I, th I think that's a good way of saying that. I don't really see it being too big, but hey, I could be wrong and I would actually like to be wrong. So please, video game developers, take advantage of VR in the best way possible and make it last. Don't pull another Wii, don't pull another Kinect, have VR be around for the long haul. And I say that as a longtime gamer. I simply love a good experience. If you can provide that in VR, then boom, sign me up. All right, so that was an excellent question and now I'm gonna segue into today's sponsor. Well, hold on, just cause I say sponsor doesn't mean it's boring. I promise I only talk about brands that I feel you guys can enjoy as well. And lynda.com slash David is one of those brands. Seriously, check it out for a 10 day trial of unlimited access to thousands of video courses, ranging from graphic design, to video editing, to business, photography, and even video game development, which is exactly what I'm gonna talk about in today's lynda.com slash David recommendation. And that's called Unreal Essential Training. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can get video game training based on the Unreal Engine. Okay, so anyway, this is a complete suite of video game development tools that allows you to learn the fundamentals and essentials of video game development from 2D games to Blockbuster. And all of this again happens within the Unreal Engine, which I just think is incredible. It's a lot of experience and it's completely free for you. So check it out. Little known fact, I wanted to be a software engineer years ago, but I kind of fell into the world of, well, obviously YouTube, graphic design, web design, affiliate marketing, all that stuff. But maybe one day I'll try to design a very basic video game. I mean, it still interests me, I just never took a serious interest in it as of yet. But for now, at least you guys can get started for again, 10 days of free access. So check it out, lynda.com slash David. That link is right below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep those questions coming in because the more questions I can get over at davidthefranco.com slash ask, the better. So come on, keep on posting them because I wanna create more content for you. And plus, don't forget, this is your chance to get some exposure for your YouTube channel, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Ello. Just kidding on the Ello. But seriously, make it happen. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.